I'm also being shown whether you are in a relationship or not, or whether you are single or not doesn't matter. Whether you're living alone or whether you're living with other people, but you have started enjoying your alone time a lot because you feel that people don't understand you enough or love you enough, and it's your own people who treat you indifferently. You feel they talk a lot and do much less, but you no longer want to entangle with them or give them time. You're rejecting all of those people who are rejecting you, but you're not doing it in a vile way, in a negative way. You just realize, you just feel that they're not like you and you're not like them. This reminds me of the story of Dhruv. If you're from India, you must have heard about the Dhruv star. The pole star is called the Dhruv Tara in Hindi. So the name Dhruv was given to the pole star because the pole star is immovable and so was Dhruv. Let me briefly tell you about the story of Dhruv because it is definitely connected to family wounding, to feeling rejected in love in general by your own people and how Dhruv being a small child fixed it all by himself. The sacred Vishnu Puran mentions the story of Dhruv who was just 5 years old and he was an ardent devotee of Vishnu and he performed austerities at such a young age and very difficult austerities and Dhruv's story is about faith can move mountain story and it starts because his father falls in love with another woman a karmic wife his mother is a very nice lady very pure hearted person and she is full of love and compassion but she's not a seductress she's a simple lady and then when the karmic mother comes in she is very jealous of the first wife and she is also very beautiful, very attractive. So the king is completely into her and the king forgets everything, his kingly duties, his husband duties, his father duties and he is constantly spending time with the second wife. So this very immovable nature Dhruv possesses even as a child. So when the father comes into the house or to the palace, Dhruv is uh, very anxious to meet the father or he is feeling very sad. How come my father did not come to meet us? Because in those days, the kings used to have chambers, you know, like, so this is the chamber of the first wife and that is the chamber of the second wife. So King uh, Uttanapada, he was the son of Swayambhu Manu and Swayambhu means manifested on its own without the procedure of birth or reproduction, reproductive system on planet Earth that, that is usually seen. His first wife, Suniti. Then second wife Suruchi comes in who is this hot and sexy lady in today's language and Suruchi was obviously his preferred object of affection and he was spending a lot of time with her and he did not care about what was happening so Dhruv feels very bad and he forcibly goes into the chambers of Suruchi's chamber basically and his mother also had told him that you do not do it you should not disturb your father if your father wants to meet us you and me then he will do that but being a child just a five-year-old child Dhruv is not able to understand all these things he's constantly having questions why this is happening this way why can't we all live together why can't we be happy why can't father love you why why can't father love us all in the same way okay fine he has a second wife okay fine i have a second brother so what so he was treating his brother like his brother and his mother was treating both the sons equally but the aramic mother who's the distorted feminine she was not in that energy anyway when dhruva goes inside forcibly his father is very happy to see him at first and instantly he wants to hug his father he wants to you know cuddle his father play with his father so this adorable little child goes up to the father and says, Father, why didn't you come to meet us? I was really missing you. I wanted to see you. And the father says, Oh, my son, I was a little busy. And they have a chit chat and Suruchi is watching this. And Suruchi is feeling very jealous, extremely envious of this whole conversation. She doesn't want uh, Dhruv to be there. She doesn't want Dhruv to be the next king. She wants only her son should be the king, the next king. Suruchi, the jealous karmic distorted mother distorted feminine she was so jealous of uh, Dhruv and her mother and his mother that she really could not tolerate them at all so then the boy he wants to sit on the lap of his father and when he's sitting on the lap of the father since Dhruv would be the heir to the throne not Suruchi's son cruelly she scolds young Dhruva for all his efforts to sit on the father's lap so he's lovingly sitting on the father's lap he's talking to the father he's going father where were you 
this and that and she scolds him and then she also pulls him and throws him on the floor like drags him to the floor which is like really bad and he starts crying when dhruv protests and asks why he cannot be allowed to sit on his own father's lap why he has to be pulled down from it why he has to be dragged and literally thrown on the floor in front of all the guards and all the other people who are watching she replies to him by saying that go and ask god actually she says go and ask vishnu to be born in my womb only then you will have the privilege it's not my fault that he is not born from my womb in order to be the king he has to be my son now this poor child he goes crying to his mother because he is humiliated he feels embarrassed and what hurts him the most is the rejection by his own father because his father doesn't protest his father doesn't say anything his father doesn't even you know say okay come on child forget what your mother says i love you because it's not about who is going to be on the throne at that point in time it was about dhruv wanting to sit on his father's lap it was the child's innocent wish and innocent love and innocent you know pure hearted expression which was converted into something so materialistic and so 3d so all of the question that dhruv eventually gets to ask vishnu are based around this type of 3d conditioning about money materialism and this and that so when he goes back to uh, his mother soniti who was of a gentle nature she tried to console the distraught child but dhruv was determined to hear of his fate from lord himself and seeing his firm resolve his mother bids him farewell as he sets out on a lonely journey to the forest now this is what is written on the wikipedia post page but actually in reality it was not like this reality as in in vishnu puran it was not like this in vishnu puran without telling anyone he just goes away and he walks into the forest in the middle of the night he is looking for lord vishnu and he doesn't know he has no address he has no place to go to but he is looking for vishnu and then he meets a set of goons who try to kill him and lot of problems come it's also lakshmi ji who starts seeing dhruv as her own child her own son so she wants to protect him that is the level of uh, strength and you can say not even physical strength mental strength and conviction just like his name dhruv he possesses so finally when he is gone into the forest and he is working on uh, how to get to meet vishnu he's looking for ways and he's putting himself into danger then it was narad muni that celestial divine sage who appears in front of him and teaches him how to chant and how to do the mantra sadhana how to work on himself what inner work so at the age of 5 he starts on this mission he starts on inner work inner work is that important and it is always a guru who has to help out the person so narad muni becomes his guru and then he keeps guiding the boy and very soon because of his determination he eventually makes vishnu appear in front of him and when vishnu appears you know what he asks he asks this question that why my father did not let me sit on his lap why my father rejected me why my mother he considers both the mother why mother suruchi did not want me to sit on my father's lap why she wanted her son to sit on the father's lap and why were they talking about all these things how is it concerning me and these type of questions when he asks then vishnu also gets lord vishnu himself gets very emotional and he says all right then if that is the problem you are facing the problem of rejection you got rejected by your own people they did not love you enough so come on child come i will make you sit on my lap you sit on my lap and i will give you all the love you need i will be your father i will be your mother i will be whatever you want me to do i am here for you imagine lord vishnu himself and because of his pure desire so he doesn't go to his father he doesn't go to anyone after that he straight away goes and questions the master and he questions uh, lord vishnu himself so this is the story of dhruv and it came up in this channeling very beautifully very spontaneously actually he keeps reciting the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya he doesn't stop he keeps chanting om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya and the crazy part is a lot of demons were sent on his way because of his penance because of his tapasya everybody's thrones were getting shaken first it was his mother his stepmother you can say whose throne was getting shaken because she saw 
saw so much purity in him but now with purity tapasya is also added you know and his sincerity and his truthfulness all of these things got added so many powerful beings they started feeling uncomfortable what is happening so so many people tried to persuade him to not continue his mantra not continue continue his inner work but dhruv did not stop so basically coming back to your energy you sense that people send you negative energy or intentions negative intentions curses or they don't want you to grow but you don't want to hang out with others or you don't want to give importance to them you have realized that even by thinking about these useless people you are giving power to them and sometimes you feel that why did you even create these type of people in your life useless not useless mean not mean negative not negative because even you had the addiction pattern or programming or the tendency of giving power to negative energy or negative people so you don't want to hang out with others but you want to go on a solo trip sort of you are stopping because of uh, financial responsibilities or health issues or something else is stopping you but i think that is also going in your favor because if you would have gone somewhere if you would have stepped out somewhere then this stage would not have come so in a way everything that is happening in your life right now is good at the moment you don't want to be negative and at the moment you also don't want to meet anyone or talk anyone who's negative whether it's a friend or a family member whether it is a specific family member who has a negative energy or you know because of past life karma they keep snapping or they keep getting into a very negative zone unnecessarily or you don't see enough compassion in them you don't see that kind of empathy in them even if they are doing talking about great things or doing some great things they are great or not great all of that is there but you are not wanting to entangle in any of those conversations that are going to pull you down because you have realized who is giving you what and you feel that this type of detachment because they rejected you so interestingly even in the story of dhruv what was happening was that when his father realizes that my son has left the palace or he is somewhere because initially they don't know where he is my son is somewhere they have to look for Uh, him so he starts looking for him even uh, the people he serves the public the janta the crowd the praja even they find out about it everybody is angry and then he starts realizing because suruchi has no empathy when dhruv goes away suruchi has like so what if he went away good he should ask vishnu only why he did not get born via me so this when the king sees all this and then the king's father himself intervenes and lot of things happen in the story also it's a very interesting story vishnu puran it's one of the chapters of it one of the parts of it so very interestingly things change and the king himself then goes out looking for dhruv but dhruv is not interested in talking to him or getting any affection from him because dhruv is like you rejected me once you treated me badly in front of you i was shamed i was embarrassed at that time you did not take a stand for me now i want to know why you did that and i will not ask you or i don't want to care about your changed heart also so as a child also he was that intelligent and then in the story only it is said that indra also sends one apsara and the apsara can change forms she is a shape shifter apsara so she changes the form of his mother turns into his mother and being the mother of dhruva she says stop this tapasya stop this penance because if you're not going to stop i'm going to end my life over here you have to stop it son you have to stop it but he doesn't stop he goes on saying om namo bhagavate vasudevaya so his focus is so strong this is a type of focus everybody on inner work journey needs to have if you have a strong focus then no one should be able to move you away from it if you decide something then no matter what happens you have to do it you have to do it at any cost that should be your uh resolution also so that is the resolution that dhruv also has and i think the story the story is a perfect end to this particular session because here also we were talking about how you are healing the pain of rejection and how you have realized that all this stress that you're going through all this pain all this sadness all this uh feeling that you're not loved you're not good enough you're not worthy why people don't choose you why you're not their priority why why you're never anyone's priority you have been thinking this for a long time and it hurts you it pains you so it's better to go within 
it's better to go within and it's better to find the answers over there because no matter how many relationships you'll get into or even if you have the partner of your choice there will always be these questions and you would always want to look for the answers and the answers are within you and the answers will come to you best via source integration so this is where i'm going to close this session because madam lakshmi it is shanta kari sitting just below my chair and he made that cute sound because he's like let's go ha shanta kar you want to say something shantakar speaks very less but it's very interesting that he is here to talk to all of us hi shantakar say hi say hi shantakar is very shy jana hai tumko you don't want to talk to anyone you don't want to talk to anyone hmm okay go say bye bye everyone go so he's not going he's hovering here only under my chair it's very nice because we talked about vishnu story vishnu puran and actually shantakar is also one of vishnu's name and i gave him this name because he's very calm quiet composed i've never really come across a dog like that plus he's his intuition is very good like he's got very strong intuition if someone he knows is 5 minutes away also he finds out and i think uh, i think i have already shared how i found him once via intuition he was lost once so animals also in today's world actually it is animals who are much more humane and human than humans themselves so you can learn a lot from them uh so this is where i'm going to close this channeling session for personal sessions and for therapies you can write to me at the sunamoon@gmail.com and all the details are given in the description box where you can check it out also if you are from the western world or you are out of india then you can use the paypal link to book a session but if you are from india then you can email me to get the paytm or gpay information which you can use to book the sessions single session or therapy both that is up to you which one you take you can also get my book in the name of love a journey of finding your ultimate soulmate kindly get the kindle copy only because in the kindle copy you have the latest edited version which uh, the paperback does not have and hopefully i will come up with more interesting books on this subject and you will get to read all of them let's pray let's make an intention all of us I will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram